Hey guys, what is up? This is Ogawashi here. Now, as you can probably tell from the background and everything, this isn't my usual recording place. Like, I'm away at uni at the minute. This is my dorm room. <laughs> so, yeah, a bit different. But uh, basically, what I want to do, to do with this video is give my opinion, sort of review, on the Captain Marvel movie. You know, the new Marvel movie. Everyone's talking about it. So, <laughs> I'm not going to get into any of the controversy surrounding it. Like, that's not what I do. That's not, I don't care about any of that. But, uh, <laughs> one little thing. I know this movie isn't meant for me. But, you know, I went to see it with my mum, like, a week ago. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie. Like, there's a lot of different opinions. Like, is it good? Is it bad? Whatever. But I really enjoyed it, like, um, the start where you get to see, like, th there's going to be spoilers as well, just fair warning. The, like, so, wait, the start where you see, like, the whole Kree planet, like, another sort of, it's sort of like Guardians of the Galaxy, like, the way it all looks and is set up, and, well, that's a great bit because I really enjoy like the look of those films as well as this one so that's good to see and like the whole thing about her not remembering her past like having sort of two separate lives that's introduced pretty early is really interesting because I was just watching the film and I was so confused I was like so because I thought going into it that she was a human like that got her powers and then went into space but then she sort of set up as being a Kree, like, from the start. But then she has this sort of dual, like, personality. So I was like, it was, that was good to see. And then there's, like, an epic set piece where it's just her on her own after she gets captured, like, breaking out of the scroll ship. And she can't use her powers, which she doesn't have much control of at the start but then like just her fighting her way out is really good like just showing her like her own powers is really cool like not her own powers her own sort of fighting ability so anyway after that she ends up on earth like being tracked down by the scroll she crashes into a blockbusters which is a big throwback to when blockbuster was around because it's set in the 90s and then you get to see like she's trying to like contact her team and get picked up and this is when you first see like Samuel L. Jackson and is it Greg Clark? Clark Greg? Coulson you get to see Coulson and Fiori and they look like the makeup or the CGI or whatever they used looks really good on them like to make them look younger it's really good like, a lot better than, you know, Rogue One and the whole Leia and Tarkin thing. So, and then it's just all about her trying to find out, like, remember her past life and what happened to her while she's being hunted down by, like, the scroll. And that's, it's, well, really interesting because, again, spoilers, like, the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. is, like, a scroll, like, he changed. And then, um, so it's basically Fury's with him trying to like capture Mar Captain Marvel again, or Carol, or Ver no, Vers, as she's called. So you find out that out later on. Like, she is Carol Danvers from Earth, but everyone calls her Vers for a reason. I'll get into later. But basically, you find out that she was from Earth, she had a whole life on Earth. Like, she was a test pilot for this doctor who was actually a Cree and they were attacked by a, uh, I think they were attacked by a Kree got shot down and she had a dog tag which said like Carol Danvers on but it's been like basically blown apart so you see like Carol Dan and then she has Vers which is like the name of the Kree who found her so that's what she goes by and then she finds like her old friend 
who she's had memories of, like memories of her, mem like going out to like bars and drinking, flying with her, and of her her friend's daughter as well, who's actually like they're both really good supporting characters. Like the daughter, for you know, kid actors, how they have a reputation. Like she's really good. So basically, like it's about her with those two, sort of like remembering her life, like getting back into it. And she actually teams up with the scroll, which is interesting because I always thought she was with the crew fighting the scroll, like who were always bad guys, like they always infiltrated Earth and the Avengers and all that, like by copying them. But anyway, so there's a whole series of like sort of plot twists, like oh, the scroll are the good guys, they're just trying to survive and find a new planet to live on, which is what this Kree doctor who was on Earth was helping them do, because she developed a light speed engine for this big ship, but they were testing it out on a little ship, which is what Carol was flying when she crashed, and then her basically team leader, who is played by Jude Law, who's been like her sort of mentor, and has always been close to her, like... Uh, turns out he shot the Kree Doctor because she was basically like betraying their sort of cause by like working with the scroll. And then uh, he shows you how she got her powers, which is like cool because I wasn't too sure on her background how she got the powers. I don't know if it's different in this, but basically um, the light speed engines crashed, it's like exposed, and then she shoots it with like a laser gun it explodes like hits her and that's how she gets all the powers so they end up finding the ship and also Samuel L. Jackson Fiori has a cat which turns out to be important later on because for some reason the Korea is scared of this cat so they're like working together they find the ship with a bunch of other screw on it but then they're cornered by Jude Law and her old team of like Kree operatives. They're like a special forces team. So then, like, um, there's a big fight. Like, she basically rebels against this AI, which they've like plugged into her and is suppressing the powers with the thing on the back of her neck. Like a, I don't know, like a little chip. And she basically tears that off, gets all the powers back. Like, this is just a short synopsis, I realise I'm not going into full detail. And then, like, the best bit of the film starts, where she has all her powers, like, she has, like, basically Super Saiyan aura, like, glowing eyes, hair. She's just flying around, like, destroying ships and everything, and it's just amazing. But then, oh, also, when she rebels against the AI, there's quite a strong, like, female empowerment moment, where... It's like her whole life she's been told about, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that because uh, you're a girl. She like, And there's just a montage of her like standing up against sort of the injustice that's happened to her, which is pretty cool. And then, so she's destroying all these ships flying around. She puts the beat down on Jude Law's character. And then she flies off with a scroll. So that's like a short, that's it quite a long synopsis of the whole film but yeah like the visual effects like everything is really good uh, like the bit at the end where she's flying around blowing up shits is amazing and then obviously I mentioned the sort of makeup and CGI is really good and um, sort of the interactions they all have like her meeting a friend and her friend's daughter again it's quite a sweet moment like she gets all these memories back about them and it's really good and also like the chem chemistry she has with Fiori is quite funny together like just the way they play off each other and interact so yeah so that was just my opinion on Captain Marvel so tell me if you tell me what you think in the comments you know follow me subscribe like comment everything and I'll see you all later guys bye